Okay, so hello and welcome back to Books and Things. Today I'm going to be doing a Christmas book haul for you. Today I'm drinking Lemsip, not tea. My introduction is a lie. But hopefully you will still be able to hear me, despite the fact that I have a sore throat and I'm slightly losing my voice. Hopefully this will still make sense, because anyway, right. So I hope you all had a good Christmas and New Year or whatever else you might celebrate or not celebrate and today I just wanted to tell you about some of the books I got for Christmas because I had quite a literary Christmas. I received quite a lot of books and book related items that I wanted to share with you today. There are quite a lot of books. There's going to be another video up tomorrow and Wednesday and Thursday this week because I missed one last week and I have quite a lot of videos that I feel need to get up in like the beginning part of the year, like within the first week so there'll be lots of videos from me this week. Also I am off work this week. For the last four months I have been working at Foyles Bookshop in London. I had my last day yesterday and then a week today I'm starting an internship at a publishing company which is very exciting but this week I have nothing on so I've been making lots of videos which is very exciting. Right anyway, on to the actual literary stuff. First off I feel it is important to introduce you to Smudge. This is Smudge, he is my literary hedgehog. I called him Smudge because he is made of paper and ink. As you can see he is a hedgehog made from the pages of a book which I think is pretty cool. I received him for Christmas from my friend Molly. I'm not entirely certain what book he's made of. I think it's a children's book about dinosaurs, but I haven't been able to work out yet which one. However, this is Smudge. Smudge will be featuring in my videos as he is going to naturally live on my bookshelf. So anyway. And you all know how much I enjoy a good literary mug. So I did receive quite a few pieces of literary related crockery for Christmas. This is my new Dickens mug. I'm very, very excited about it. So it has different Dickens characters on it from every single one of Dickens novels, which is very exciting. I also received this mug, which says go away, I'm reading, just to match my go away, I'm writing mugs. And I also have a matching coaster, which is very cool. And also, very importantly, my friend Celine gave me this mug, which says on it, one must always be careful of books and what is inside them, for words have the power to change us. This is a quote from the Infernal Devices series by Cassandra Clare, which I really enjoyed. They were set in the Victorian period and they're fantasy and they're lovely. And my friend Celine was the person that recommended them to me. So I really love this mug. It is so cool. And yeah, what a great series. Anyway, while we're on the subject of crockery, I also received this bowl. It matches my previous Dickens mug and says inside, please, sir, I want some more. You can't see that currently because it's currently full of a lot of bits of slips of paper. But anyway, I will explain what this is for on Thursday's video when I do my 2016 reading resolutions. I also got a couple of pieces of literary jewellery. So I have this little brooch which is just, just like a little fountain pen pin and also have this little Wuthering Heights brooch which is very exciting. I also got this notebook which is also from my friend Celine and also has a quote on it from the Infernal Devices series and it says life is a book and there are a thousand pages I have not yet read which is pretty cool. I really enjoy it and you know notebooks are always good especially when they're lined because I can use them for writing. This is very exciting anyway. And now moving on to the actual books. So I don't normally do book hauls, partly just because I don't tend to buy books all in one go and also because I feel like if I get books I'm probably going to talk about them in a wrap up at some point anyway. However, as it's Christmas I figured I might as well, it's partly because some of them are already nice editions of books that I've already read so I'm probably not going to be talking about them at any point in the very near future. And also because I receive quite a lot of books it's probably going to take me quite a while to get around to talking about them. So I thought I might as well share with you all the books. Here. First I'm going to talk about my Collector's Library editions. If you don't know, I have been collecting the Collector's Library classics for a very long time, since I was about 14. They come in little bound editions like this with kind of stripy covers, but you can also take off the covers, which I pretty much always do, and underneath they are just plain red with gold writing, which I think is just beautiful. And the thing I really love about them is that they're hardbacks, which is really nice, but they're not big, they're small, which means I can carry them around in my bag. I just think they're lovely. I've been collecting them for a very long time, and because the collection is still like ongoing, they bring out more every year, so I received quite a few for Christmas. So, Collector's Library. Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. The Warden by Anthony Trollope. Barchester Towers by Anthony Trollope, which is the sequel to The Warden. I've read The Warden, haven't yet read Barchester Towers. The Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Alice's Adventures in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll. And Through the Looking Glass, which I haven't yet read. Exciting. And The Pigwig Papers by Charles Dickens. And speaking of Dickens, I also received A Christmas Carol and two other Christmas books by Charles Dickens. The other two books in here are The Chimes and The Cricket on the Hearth. And while we're on the subject of Dickens, I also received this beautiful, beautiful edition, which is Dickens at Christmas. I'm so excited that I received this from my mum for Christmas because I have seen this about lots and lots and I really really wanted it and it's very exciting, it's beautiful. So in here we have all of Dickens's Christmas novellas, so we have A Christmas Carol, The Chimes, The Cricket on the Hearth, The Battle of Life 
and The Haunted Man. It also includes a short story which appears within the Pickwick Papers called The Goblins Who Stole a Sexton, which is basically an early version of A Christmas Carol. It has like the same kind of shape and message, but is not quite as developed and complex. And it also includes a few like articles and short stories that appeared in Household Words, Dickens' magazine, during his life around Christmas time. So this is beautiful, lovely. I have already read this and loved it so much. It was so good. And although I'd read like A Christmas Carol and some of his other Christmas works before, I hadn't actually read quite a few things that appeared in this, which is very exciting. And it's so beautiful and pretty and just our oh, Dickens. And while we're on the subject of pretty classics, I also received this, which is Miss Pettigrew Lives for a Day, which is my first Persephone classic, which is very exciting. I think they're so beautiful. I mean, look, look at the end papers. They're just lovely. Ah, oh, it's so nice and simple. I know this book did the rounds on booktube like quite a while ago now, but I haven't read it yet. And I've heard really good things about it. And I always love a good classic. So hopefully you're going to really enjoy this. I also received these two beautiful books from my brother. They are both quite old, which is what I like to see. This is Elizabeth Gaskell's Mary Barton. I think this book is from about 1910. Let me check. Uh, yep, 1906 this version is from, and it's just gorgeous. I just love, love a nice old book. They're so like delicate. And as you know, I absolutely loved Mary Barton earlier this year. I thought it was brilliant. One of my favourite books of the year. But anyway, more on that on Wednesday. And the other one is Kips by H.G. Wells, which I have not read, but I'm certainly looking forward to reading. And this edition is also, I think, from very early 20th century. This one doesn't have a date in, which possibly means it's older, but I gather from the look of it that it's from about the same time. My brother also got me a copy of June, which is probably just as well as I've had his copy of June sitting on my shelves for the last few months, and I still haven't read it, but I will read it. I'm really looking forward to it, and I really do enjoy science fiction, and I always kind of forget about it, and I need to read more, but I'm really looking forward to this. Hopefully it will be really good. I also got some Japanese literature for Christmas, which is very exciting. As you all know, I absolutely love Banana Yoshimoto, but I haven't actually read that much more Japanese literature apart from stuff by her. I have read a few bits here and there, but I'm always interested to get into more of it. So this is The Life of a Counterfeit by uh, Yashi Inuo. Sorry, I know that's not how you say his name. I have read one other thing by this author before called The Hunting Gun, which I absolutely loved. And I'm really, really looking forward to this because I just thought his writing was brilliant. I also have The Makio Sisters by Tanazaki. I don't think that's how you say his name. But anyway, I also have another book by the same author, which is Some Prefer Nettles. I'm really looking forward to both of these. I don't know that much about them, but these two, along with the other Japanese book, were from my uncle who really likes Japanese literature and culture. So I really highly value his recommendation. So hopefully these will be great. I also received Not the End of the World by Kate Atkinson, which I am so excited excited about. This is a collection of short stories by Kate Atkinson. I read her novel Life After Life back in 2014 and I thought it was incredible and then for some reason I just haven't read anything by her since so I'm so excited about this. I'm really hoping to love it because I really love her writing and I always love a good short story collection. And on a similar topic I also received this which is this isn't the kind of thing that happens to someone like you. Yes that is the right title. It's a long one. This is by John McGregor. Back in 2014 again, I read his novel, If Nobody Speaks of Remarkable Things, which I just thought was so incredible. It is one of my favourite 10 books of all time. I just thought it was so, so beautiful. And the writing was so rich and incredible. I just, I, can't, I don't have words to explain what a beautiful writer John McGregor is. He has such a power with words. Like, I'm so envious. It is gorgeous and incredible and just brilliant. And this is a collection of short stories by him, which I'm very, very excited about. In fact, I'm more than excited about it. I've already started reading it. I'm about halfway through and I'm just just ah, uh, he just writes incredibly i can't explain it his writing is superb i will talk about this more in my january wrap up because i'll probably finish it this week i also received the lola quartet by emily sinden mandel as you may remember i read station 11 last year and thought it was brilliant so i was really excited to pick up something else by her and i thought this one sounded quite interesting so my mum gave me this for christmas and this is very exciting definitely looking forward to this i have very high hopes for you emily sinden mandel very high hopes and finally, getting to the last three books I received, these three books came to me in the post without a note because my friend Jess forgot to put one in. So I spent most of Christmas Day being like, who has sent me these mystery books? This is so intriguing. However, it was from my friend Jess. I did eventually find out and I'm very excited about all of these books. The first is Fingersmith by Sarah Waters. I've heard very good things about this and I know it's Victorian, so I think I'm probably going to love this. She also gave me Longbourn by Joe Baker, which is very exciting. I know that this is like Pride and Prejudice from the perspective of the servants, I think. And I've heard a lot of really good things about it. I know when I was working at the Jane Austen Centre, a lot of people had read it and really loved it and said that it was one of the best kind of Pride and Prejudice retellings that they'd read. So I'm really excited about this. It should be really good. Sounds like right up my alley. And finally, Jess also got me The Night Guest. I don't know anything about this at all, but it's supposed to be scary. So that could be a problem. I'm not very good with scary, but I'm still hoping to enjoy it.
so yeah i think those are all the books i got for christmas it was quite a lot but there we go i do like books it is only to be expected please let me know if you've read any of these before and if you have any recommendations for where i should start definitely starting with john mcgregor i was so so excited about that i'm hoping to get to kate atkinson quite soon as well but anyway i will see you tomorrow with another video because there are many videos to be filmed so anyway happy reading and i will see you tomorrow where i will probably still be drinking lemsip